what's going on, everybody? This is Jesse Lozano with the Nerd with Balls podcast, issue number 18. We got Alex. What it is. We got Sergio. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. We got motherfucking Madrid. What's up, guys? Damn, looks like it moved up in the scale. Like I know, I moved world. down? What the fuck? <laughs> I moved things around, man. I was pointing at you, but I said his name. I wasn't paying attention. Can I move your junk around? In your mouth? Yeah. Nah, bro, this is weird. Why? Because your junk is little. Alex? You drunk his though. <laughs> well, fuck me. I've seen it. <laughs> How was it? It was all right. Was it, cute it was vain. <laughs> it goes through a lot of stress. I beat the shit out of it. Okay, let's get to the first. What's the first thing we're going for, Serge? Watch your face beat up my hand. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Um, then the Pixar world. The Incredibles 2 has officially been um, slated in for June 21st, 2019. So Zach is back. Zach is back. That was the baby's name, right? Zach? Do you even see it, Serge? Huh? <laughs> you remember the Incredibles? You know what? I did, but... It I wasn't on Telemundo, was it? No, it wasn't on Telemundo. It is now. <laughs> Damn you, Telemundo, get your game up. It was Shit. dope. It was fucking sick. I'm excited for this. The baby's called Zach, right? I believe so. It's been a while since I watched it. Because he's the one who kicked everybody's ass and saved their asses. Well, yeah, he ends up like getting all their powers and shit. He's dope. getting multiple powers. He's like the vision of the Incredibles, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty sick movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but the elastic mom kind of turns me out. Like, she has a little waist and she has some hips like a motherfucker. You ever watch the porn where she's fucking? Nah, I gotta check those out tonight on Pornhub. Alex? I like Pornhub. Not Pornhub. Have <laughs> no. you ever seen her fucking? No. Nah. Don't you fucking lie to me, bro. <laughs> yeah, but they made videos of her fucking? Yeah, you know, like the cartoon porns that they do? Like her fucking Jasmine from Aladdin and shit? All right, moving forward. <laughs> what else do we got? I got a lot of judgmental fucking faces on me, bro. Right well, well uh, we're all excited for Incredibles 2. Gaps. Uh, still sticking with the whole Pixar world. Um, Toy Story 4 has been pushed back due to Cars 3's... Cars 3's? Cars three, uh, a movie release. So I guess it took it, it took its spot at June 16, thousand seventeen release date, and Toy Story four has been pushed back to the following year, June fifteenth, two thousand eighteen. That sucks. Yeah. You know, you know, I'm really happy because the powerhouse movies that are coming out for twenty sixteen from like Marvel and DC. I know there's some coming out on seventeen as well, but no fucking movie this year or next year will make me cry like Toy Story. Toy Stories are those movies that Pixar knows how to play with your heart. It doesn't matter who you are. They'll fuck you up. I don't know. I think that's why I'm disappointed because I wanted to cry earlier than 2018. I don't know, man. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Like, I remember on... They all made me cry, but the third one when they're all dying in the furnace... You need to get over that, bro. Bro. No, bro. They gave up and they were going to die as a family. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. Okay. Riddle me this you guys family. didn't actually think they were going to die, right? You know what? It's not the point that we thousand and die. It's the point that... They thought they were gonna die. Nah. Bones. Wait, wait. Seriously, <laughs> just think about that minute, that moment. You picture, go. You just picture us I'm all together. Us. Nah, dude. Uh, Se- uh, second one's definitely the, the sadder one. Which part? When when he's fucking away? Jesse gets left. <laughs> yeah, dude. I've been left before. I've conquered that. <laughs> I haven't conquered death yet. No, no, no. That def- definitely the fucking second. But one Jesse was. had it coming. She was a. Cunt. Have you heard that theory that like people think that Jesse's owner was uh, Andy's mom? Yeah. 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 I actually shot that down today. I don't know if I brought that up. But. Have you heard the other Pixar theory that like all the movies are connected? Yeah, yeah like how the little boy from Mob It's kind of a trip. Tarzan well, and Elsa and Anna's brother. Yeah. No, they, they debunked Or No, that not that because that's, that's not Pixar. But what they're saying is that like, like, all the Pixar movies happen in the same universe. So like it starts like eventually like the cars... Like everything gets fucked up with the environment, and then like cars take over and shit, and then Wally comes around, and then like eventually Wayne the Future, like Monsters Inc. takes over and shit. But like it all happens in the same universe and stuff. So yeah. No, dude, I really think you know what? Like that's how conspiracy theorists happen. Because I really do believe all that shit could go on. And Buddy the Cocksucker's being a <laughs> dick right now, being all gassy and shit. He's walking around. It's, it's, so they debunked all of that. Pretty much. They basically said, because, like, the theory works pretty well. Like, it does. Um, like, I read into it, and, like, it, it flows really well, but a lot of the directors and shit for the Pixar movies have said that, like, it works, but that's not what we were trying to do at all, so. Shut the fuck up, directors. Just go with it. Make <laughs> it happen. Well, it could fuck up other stories. 
Or can Tyler make them better? Yeah, that's basically what they were saying. That, like, we focus on individual movies and try to make those the best we can be. And the not, other you know. fucking lying. They just wanted to catch on to their little bit of bullshit. You know, I never, uh... I never watched, like... I never sat there and watched the, the actual Disney classic movies and shit. Like, other than Lion King. But the Pixar movies are just... They're well fucking put together, and I... Pixar I, changed everything. They did. The storytelling, the cartoon, they... They took what we saw from the 2D animation to 3D, but on top of that, amazing, shocking, emotional stories. Well, they just made they made cartoons for adults. You know what I mean? Like cartoons in like the 90s and even the early 2000s were relegated to being like for kids, you know, exclusively for kids. But they made you know cartoons to where adults can can watch and enjoy them. Ratatouille. Yeah. So did they talking about why? Um... Toy Story got pushed back? No, they just they just threw cars in. They didn't, they didn't really go into details much, but they just released those three movies, the, the, the release dates for those three, and pretty much said that Toy Story got I think the back. project and like how much time actually goes in those movies, because that's like, in theory, that's like two, three years for a movie. Fuck yeah. you. Old. And I don't think they, I think they only work on like one at a time. They don't yeah. have like multiple projects going. I mean, they're probably doing like different stages of development. Like, while they're writing one, they're like, you know, animating another, but... Because Pixar was cut back, right? Like I think so. They yeah. were cut back to just specifically those people that work with the Pixar movies, and that's it. Right. Like they they well they, they, they cut a lot of. Uh, they started that way. They were always they were small because it was one of the dudes from Apple that invested in them for like 15, 20 years. Yeah. Like it, like they were just like students that said, "Hey, we got this thing going on. This is what we can do." So I think that was something that really came out. And, uh, I don't know, man. Correct me if I'm wrong, didn't Pixar start off working for Disney? No. Like, well, no, they're owned, yeah, they're owned yeah. by Disney. They're owned now. Well, I'm saying Because they, they became a public traded company, Disney came in. I'm saying, like, the original artists, then weren't they already cartoonists inside of Disney? No. No? Oh, I thought they were. Because I thought they were, like, they were engineers. I don't know, we're all talking out of grass, but in. I'm pretty sure, like, a bunch of Disney people left and founded Pixar, if I remember correctly. Yeah, something. No, like I that. remember like because there's a documentary on like YouTube. Like there was like five of them. They were like more like engineers. Okay. Like they were all software, this and that. And they're like, hey, that's when they brought it to one of the dudes at Apple, and they felt like shit when they told him they're like, we need money because this is the this is the future, and he like gave all the shit they they needed like every year. And they're just like, we're never gonna be able to pay you back. And he's like, no, I believe in this. You will change everything, and they did. And he was like, told you guys. I think I remember watching that clip. Yeah, like yeah. it. It was dope because they it was software engineers. Some people might have been from yeah. Disney, you know, but I just know that it was just new types of thinkers. But I love these movies. Well, still sticking with the whole Pixar deal, uh, we have a little trailer for you guys. It's the the official trailer for uh, official trailer number two for The Good Dinosaur. There's a new Pixar movie coming out. Yeah, a new Pixar movie uh, slated to the come out. I actually haven't heard. Of it. Yeah, I haven't heard of it either. It looks fucking sick, dude. Don't you put my heart. What if the asteroids <laughs> that destroyed the dinosaurs? Oh, miss. <laughs> Jar Jar! Fuck. Fuck. Well, he is going by Disney now. I think we went far enough today. Let's get you home. God, this shit's depressing right out the gate. <laughs> Lion King remake. For real. <laughs> Fuck you, Scar. Oh, man. Are you serious? This comes out Thanksgiving. <laughs> you gonna ruin my turkey day? like straight up fucking Bambi shit. <gasps> but the water killed his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Mother Nature. That little dude's down. <laughs> He's Bell. <laughs> I was gonna say, he looks like Bell. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> oh shit. I don't think dinosaurs have that kind of lung capacity. I'm just saying. I don't know, I never met one. <laughs> <laughs> we got buddy the dinosaurs. We would've, the shit. asteroid never would've killed them. Fucking asteroid. Stupid Scientology. <laughs> Stupid Scientology. We can keep on the dodge and side with the law, but I'll be passing more than his. <laughs> it's kind of inspiring, bro. You want to go take an orphan kid? No, I'm going to become a T Rex. 
Stinky. Call him Spot. So the the, the, the human child is actually the pet. Yeah. That's dope. Is that fucking Sam Elliott? Sam Elliott sounds like it. I think it is. I hope it is. He has to fight the water again. Where's my family? Oh, Hannah. You don't understand. Damn. Well, fuck you guys! <laughs> Shit! God damn it! <laughs> Somebody hold me! <laughs> <laughs> fucking good dinosaur fucking sucks! <laughs> We're all quiet. Yeah, I was doing a podcast. No, we're just done now. <laughs> End of it. We, go we all did get really fucking quiet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, see, that's the effect that these fucking Pixar movies have, man. <laughs> it just does that shit to you, dude. <laughs> do we, do we take a, we take a break and collect ourselves? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> <they're> <laughs> not, I'm glad we don't do fucking video right now because we'd be fucked. Like, they're fucking oh. cameras all zooming in my face. Right? <laughs> they're really crying. Amazing shit. <laughs> Man, these are masculine tears. I got allergies. <laughs> Nerds with pussy. <laughs> my dad never hold me. <laughs> my dad holds me too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we got a hold of each other again? No. No. <laughs> of ourselves? Already. My dad ain't got no liver. <laughs> fucking D. <laughs> Your dad's not a fucking dinosaur. News your dad! My dad's not gonna get around water. He doesn't even like showers. I, can, I know. <laughs> Alright, let's move forward, please. Alright, no more Pixar shit because we cry like little bitches. I know. Um, so this week, The Flash was um, they uh, uh, premiered. The second season of Flash premiered. And it was pretty dope. It was a pretty fucking sick show. I gotta tell you, I fucking caught up with this show, and it's now, like, the show that I'm looking forward to every week. It's fucking sick. Same as happened to me last, the first season. I was like, nope, don't talk to me, don't call me, flash Yeah, it was fucking sick. And that fucking, that episode, like, I mean, obviously I'm late on this shit, but, like, where they did the day twice, like, where what's-his-name gets killed, like, when he's about to get killed, that shit was sad as fuck. Like, he's all quivering and shit. Oh, when uh, the little Mexican Cisco, kid? Yeah, yeah, when he was gonna get killed. Oh, yeah. Like, when he knows he's gonna die, and like, oh, dude, that shit was sad as fuck. I started yeah. crying. He's like, Cisco, you're like a son to me. I was like, no! Yeah. Fuck you! I just want you guys to know, I need to get caught up on Flash, <laughs> and I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. It was oh, like, episode, hashtag spoilers. It was like yeah. episode 19, 18, oh, 19, somewhere on there. It was before, yeah. like, Grodd lives and yeah. shit. Yeah, it was, uh, actually, it was the opening to showing that uh, Cisco has, is a Medihuman himself. Yeah. So that was pretty dope. So that's why he's able to like in this last episode that just or the, the season premiere he was able to like do flashbacks and like well everything he saw like was a flashback ish kind of right yeah well like in the in, towards the end of the season he was able to like see what happened in the day that was lost because like they go back in time and yeah. he changes it but he was able to like start to remember and that was how Doctor Walls knew that like he was a metahuman or whatever they still haven't really touched on his powers or anything yet but should we get it pretty interesting. Yeah, I thought this was the episode it was funny when uh, uh fi- the other half of Firestorm um named the the villain. Oh yeah. And he was like, I do the name of the villains. <laughs> and that was awesome. But uh, oh, for Adam Smasher. For Adam Smasher, yeah. Yeah. So we have the second episode coming out next week and uh they released a little fifty second, forty five second promo trailer for it and it's uh, Flash of Two Worlds where it introduces uh Jay Garrick. Ah, uh, she which they kind of brought him in at the end of the episode. Now it's starting to introduce Zoom slowly. He's kind of a chiseled dude, huh? He should be the Flash. So initially, Zoom's supposed to be the alternative world's reverse Flash, correct? No, they're doing... Well, maybe that's how they're going to end up doing it, but from when I was reading their... They're separating because I mean Zoom and, and and Reverse Flash have always kind of been separate. You know, you have Professor Zoom and then yeah, uh, Reverse Flash. So they're kind of separating them. You know, sort of. And I think what's his name was supposed to play the voice of him. That one guy. The, the same guy that played last week. No, oh, the, um, the black guy. Um, yeah, the guy from. Uh, 
The candy, candy man? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember his name. But yeah. <laughs> we were we clowned on it like a few episodes back at the end of the beginning of of the Nerd of Balls podcast. But yeah, I think he is supposed to be the voice for the uh, the Professor Zoom. Yeah, and they're making it real kind of mysterious and shit, you know, his entrance. So it'll be interesting to see how they do that. Did you guys see Edge Adam Copeland's freaking gangs though? Oh, when he turns... No, before that, his arms got huge from, you know... I wish he still had his long hair. He looked, I know, He looked right? cute. He looked dreamy as fuck. I don't know who you're talking about. Adam Smasher. Yeah. The wrestler. Oh, oh. He used to be a wrestler. Yeah. Edge. Get oh, is that who that was? Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. Old yeah, I guess he did gain some fucking weight. Yeah, he got some fucking muscle mass, too, in those arms. I think what he's trying to say is that he got fat. I know. He did look a little... He did look a little He did. Fat, like, though. he used to be skinny as fuck. Yeah, he was like WWE. Like, like, I'm like Mike with muscle. Man. <laughs> Who was he partnered with? Uh, Christian. Christian. There you go. Slater? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Although they did play vampires. So. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so all in all, you guys like the Flash episode, the the premiere? Yeah, like I said, that's it's fucking. Yeah, I mean, it's I, definitely the show to watch this season. Uh, what do you guys think of the Gotham? Have you, have you guys watched any of the Gotham episodes? Nope. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <You're on. laughs> yes. Sorry, guys. I got stage fright. So, uh, this past week, spoilers, um, in this episode, they, they, uh, I think it was the last laugh, they killed off the, uh, the character who was playing, uh, who everybody thought was going to be the Joker. Jerome. Um, Jerome. Uh, I think his first, his real name is, like, uh, Cameron Mona, Monahan or something like that. Um, but they killed him, they ended up killing him off, and, uh, pretty much, like, you could, t- you could see that they are, that he was laying down the foundation for the actual Joker. You know, the one thing I didn't like about that is two things. One is his, um, his carny father, who's like the psychic. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, how he predicted, like, his, what, what, what did How they set it? it up, they, they predicted that he was going to be the fucking, uh, His reign or whatever his yeah. name. I think that's, that was kind of blown out of proportion. I really didn't like that. I think at the end, when you see Jerome smiling and all that, and you just see everybody has, like, a piece of him. Like, you see them robbing that fucking old lady, stabbing the dude in the fucking alley. Then they stab each other. One dude stabs the other one. Like, oh, shit. Like, that to me was just, like, I think that was a little too much for me. Yeah, I think that was a little too much for me, too. I think they could have, like, definitely gone away from that part. Um, but from what they're saying is that they uh, they asked Bruno Heller if uh, Barbara King could potentially be the Joker. And so I, think that, I guess that's a theory that's going around, right? Yeah, it's a theory that's going around that she could be the Joker, and he's like, I'm definitely not saying no, but, you know, it's a, it's, it's an absolute uh, uh, possibility. Bruno Haller's a fucking beast. Yeah, all in all, this fucking second season, is, it's kicked off pretty well, and it's fucking dope, man. I think they're going darker, even with, like, Gordon's character, like how even, like, the lighting around him, he looks like... Yeah. It looks more like a model. Like he's distinguished now. He's not rookie. Well, he's if you made. see, if you see the first season to this to the second season, like even his hairstyle changed. Yeah, like, you can tell his hairstyle. Like he looks more fucking gritty. Like he's out there to fucking like get. He's out there to get people. I, I think if that was like the B budget actor, if they wanted like the A budget actor, that could have been Justin Timberlake. That's how I really see him. Like I was like Justin Timberlake yeah. would look good at that moment. Like when he was getting his ass kicked in the alley. Yeah, yeah. Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Did you know that? So, you know that the chick that uh, it's uh, Dr. Lee Tompkins, uh, which is uh, what's his name's girlfriend in, in the show? Gordon's. Gordon's yeah. girlfriend. I think that's Bruno Heller's fuck buddy in real life. No, it's actually Gordon's fuck buddy in real life. She's pregnant by him. Really? Yeah. Because what trips me about that is everything that uh, you remember. She was the psycho off of Mentalist. Remember the psycho hot chick that would arrange guys? It's the oh, girl, yeah, yeah. It's the girl that's her. That, that's playing the love interest for uh, Deadpool. A man, uh, oh, okay. something. Bo- I remember her from more from Mentalist. Yeah, from Mentalist, because yeah, yeah. anything that Bruno Heller touches, he goes for her. Mm-hmm. So she's always that hot, distinguished, sexy, classy kind of girl. Yeah. Mm, so like me. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, he's... Uh, so Gordon? Kid. Gordon, Gordon in popped the baby in her? Yeah. Her oh, man, I always thought that was fucking uh, Heller's bo- boo thing. Yeah, she was, she was married before, and like I guess right now she's going through a divorce. It fucking that sound like TMZ and shit, right? <laughs> uh, I guess right now she's going through like a divorce or whatever. And it was just, they were just talking about how, you know, it's funny that they're on set and then they're having a fucking kid now. And they're actually thinking about marriage. Fuck, that bitch is clingy and insecure like a motherfucker. Like, hey, my last dude left me. I'm going to get pregnant by you and we're going to marry and we're going to be happy ever after. Bruno Haller got our back. Pretty much. Fucking stupid bitch. Is she Mexican? 
Uh, I don't know what she is. I don't say she has. She's she's probably she has to be at least one percent to be that crazy. She's <laughs> she's got some percentage of black. Hair. I'd say that or Italian. That girl's bad. She's everything. Yeah. She's just fucking baddie. Yeah. What do you think of uh the the Barbara King? The crazy. I, I, I like her when she's not exaggerating. Yeah. Like I think she looks more sinister when he's, she's just being herself. But then when she over exaggerates, it's like, why? Uh, that's that whole show like they have characters that just played really well and then like you could just see when they're overacting it's like oh come on man like they could have done without that but I guess I'll let it slide I think everybody's trying to imitate Heath Ledger like when you get into the Batman universe everybody's trying to be Heath Ledger you think so? oh yeah people want to fucking especially in a show like that like from the the previews and shit that I shot like that that, I mean, honestly, I haven't watched it all that much, but that Jerome kid was fucking overacting like a motherfucker. He remind me of a ripoff of Jack Nicholson's Joker. Probably. But. <laughs> all right. Either right. way, he was a fuckboy, right? All right, well, continuing on. There wait, was wait, no, wait, wait. Oh, well, we're staying with Air, or Gotham. Gotham. We didn't talk about Alfred. Oh, he was flirting with the chick? Wait, well, besides he was flirting, they're actually spinning it off that he was the British military. Oh, he's always been the British military. No, but in the actual series, this is what they were talking about when he was talking about the British military, and that's when he got into like that fight that same yeah. night when he took them all down, yeah. like with their Uzis. I thought that was fucking six fuck. Yeah, he's always been like if you. Yeah, I think they introduced introduced that in the first season. Yeah, it was like I the first couple. Of, it was the first couple of episodes where um, I forgot. I think it was uh, one of the some of the uh, bad guys they came after Bruce Wayne in in the to the actual um, Wayne Mansion or whatever. And he like took him on and yeah. told Bruce Wayne to run off, and he pretty much saved his life. So this is the first time in cinema ever that Alfred's fighting. I believe so. Yeah. Until this new Batman, because this new Batman with Ben Ben Affleck's Batman, Alfred's gonna fight. We all know that. Yeah, I mean, if it takes the, if it takes mm-hmm. the uh, huh? Do we know that? Yeah. If it takes that's the, why they went after that certain. The actor Jeremy Irons. Yes, I don't think he's much of a fighter. Dude, have you ever seen him get his ass kicked by Bruce Willis? I have. He didn't fight in that movie. You know what? He did get hit. No, but no. I don't think he about. did. No, I think he did. <laughs> he took a ball. The most out. he did was like fucking jump in a helicopter and start shooting at people. That's a That's hard action, fucking bro. job, bro. That's Can action. you do that? I would love to see it. I don't think they'll have fucking Alfred in a helicopter shooting at people. This eighteen. What do you want to bet? A hand job. Because I think wait, I got it. Are you trying to bet me that they're going to have Alfred in a helicopter shooting at people? No. Because I'll take anything. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Alfred's going to fight on this new one. On the new movie? or On the new movie. movie. New movie. Alfred's going to fight with Ben Affleck. Not together, but he'll be fighting somewhere in the scene. I don't think he's going to fight. I think he's definitely going to shoot something. You're going to see him throw some blows. I say blows. I, I, say, I say he does not throw multiple blows. Maybe uh, a gentleman. Like slap? he may pe- punch somebody once, like or slap Bruce Wayne or something. But he's not gonna get in a full on fight. I, I'm pretty sure. What do you want to bet? I'll take that bet. Whose asshole is the? Well, okay, I gotta lick your asshole. A few. <laughs> what? Well, the, remember the last bet? If I fuck up, he has to lick my asshole. If not, he, I have to lick his. Does asshole. that go down? No. No, it hasn't happened yet. Well, yeah, what we was the periscope? Bet on? We're gonna periscope it. What was, what the, was the bet? I don't know. Was, but I remember. I, I know. Shit. I know he won. I was there. I think it was. A, oh, it, has, it, was a, it was for a movie. Or I something. was to say. I think it was for a movie. Like it was a who was in a certain movie or something. I remember shit. it was on the podcast. I just don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll mark. Well, we'll mark this one. Alex, what do you want the bet to be? I don't care. If you're licking people's assholes, we can go with that. If you lose, you lick my <laughs> asshole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we start getting hand jobs, bro. Hand jobs. I don't care. We'll bet naked so. dinner in a thong. Yeah. That's not naked dinner. <laughs> One was right. naked, the other one has to wear a thong. <laughs> yeah. You gotta feed him Cinnabon while you're naked. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is what we'll do. Whoever wins or whoever loses has to cook the other one dinner and say how awesome the winner is the whole time. All right, we can go with that. But are you gonna feed him too? No, man. Uh, we ain't queers. Really? So, I was just introduced to Tocino's Pizza today. Right? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> they are working men's to me. <laughs> I was going to say, what if uh, we make Tostino's Pizza, make it a Tostino's Pizza party? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The you... loser gets to eat the asshole of the person <laughs> shooting the Tostino's Pizza, so you get no. double the whammy. No. You get double deliciousness. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely not. I think the loser becomes the winner at that point. <laughs> I think so. All right, guys, moving on? Yes, uh-huh. yes. All right, sure. so another premiere, season premiere was a season premiere for 
uh, Arrow, the fourth season. Uh, here we have a look at Speedy, which is... Gonzalez? I wish. Wish. It's, uh, what's his name? Uh, Oliver's sister, um, who plays Speedy, and we all know he gets trained by... Uh, they they put the train on her? Huh? Mer- uh, Merlin. Merlin. Yeah, Malcolm Merlin, which is her, her real dad. Um, yeah, here's a first look at her. I guess she takes over uh, Roy Harper's um, old get-up and kind of gets like a little... That dope. That looks dope. Did you guys watch the first episode? No. Nah, not yet. Four? We're only on episode four, season one, <laughs> where she's a drug addict. Well, then, we won't go into it other than it was it's pretty no amazing. Um, there was still the whole romantic CW shit going on, but it was pretty sick. I got I got to see the fucking, um, what's his name, Diggle's little helmet deal. Oh, it's yeah. kind of weird. It looks like um, a welder's mask, honestly. Like, it's just weird. I got Does he wear it a lot? Uh, he wore it a few a few scenes um, yeah. throughout the show, but other than that, just like See, that's why I'm just liking Flash a lot more, just because they don't do a lot of the romantic shit as much. I mean, they do it a little bit with him and Iris, but I mean, they show the love interest, but it's not like the whole thing surrounded yeah. between both the both. Seems of like them. it's some Arrow episode. It's like the entire fucking episode. Yeah, so. it definitely is. Um, I mean, I don't. I definitely don't mind it because it shows more of Felicity, Felicity Smoke, which is she's got booty. Man, I tell you, groceries. I give the girl the foreskin in this outfit. I don't blame you. All right, moving forward. Uh, today, going on right now is the uh, the New York Comic Con, and uh, the photographer for Batman vs Superman, uh, Dawn of Justice, released this picture of uh, Bruce Wayne. And um, as we haven't like we haven't seen him yet, but um, released a picture of Bruce Wayne in his getup. If I can get to it. And this was released at the New York Comic Con? Um, it, not at, but it was around there. Um, that's In, just because they were talking about it a lot. Uh, all around its mouth. Mm. You know that good, good Michael Jackson bad. Your hair is on fleek. Thank you. Uh, you know what? You know, so I talked to a lot of guys and stuff. Like They just told me like how commercialized or how like commercial industry has been sucking the life out of New York Comic Con. Like, pure fans got screwed when it came to tickets. Like, they literally said, okay, guys, we got a big announcement. And, like, a few hours later, they're like, at noon, you can get your tickets. And literally, you had to buy them, like, around the neighborhood or whatever like that, like some comic spot. And then they held back online. So everybody literally got fucked. So all the fans were, like, extremely pissed. They were just like, what the fuck's going on? Um, you know, that's the thing is there was a big debate for a few weeks. Um, here, give me a second. I'll, I'll look at something right quick. Alex, what do you think? Would you ever go to a New York Comic Con or anything like that? I mean, if I was in New York, I'd never been there, but yeah, I'd go. Even with how big it is, like, dude, the one here is fucking pretty damn big. I go to that. Hey, it kind of gets boring after a while, though. I think because we're working. Well, the problem, especially the one here, is that there's just not really any good panels. Like, True. the fucking, there's a lot of people and a lot of cosplay people, and, like, oh, the floor is pretty big, and, but you can only walk the floor and look at, you know, comics so much. And, like, the fucking panels that they have are just not, just nobody comes here because we're on the fucking West Coast. I think we talked about this already where the amazingly, un- uh, amazingly uncanny, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> the amazing Comic Con, amazing Arizona Comic Con is way better. Um, simply because of the fact that they have better panels, better yeah. people on the panels than, than the uh, Phoenix Comic Con. I don't know if it's because it's a smaller one where they can actually go after it, but yeah. I think there's a lot of different things. I think it goes back to intimacy. You know, you have so many people, like, they're reaching, like, 70, I think, 90 tops, 1,000 people in, like, three or four days. They're going to try to cram as much as they can. But mind you, that's a lot of people. Yeah. There's a lot of business happening over here. But um, actually, so the guy that was... Uh, he promotes and he helps out a lot from the New York Comic Con uh, fan page. His name's Miles. Like, dude, she's been putting on game and he's actually been putting everything up. Like, he's the guy who's like, yeah, you know, things suck, dude. And it might be a little commercial, but it's still our community. Let's go out there. Let's keep it fun. Hey, do you guys want to meet up? You guys want to go to this bar or check this out? Who, who has fans? Who wants to meet up? Who saw somebody famous? I was like, dude, that's pretty dope. And he's like the admin. And his thing's like, nah, man, it's about the community. We should always build with each other. Like, I don't know why people don't do that. So... 
it, it's cool because I'm literally seeing him and everybody else in New York's feed just throughout a group, just like boom, and just seeing how bad it grows. And I was like, that's sick. I really like it. I bet you it's a fucking great time to be at a Comic Con right now in New York too, with the weather going getting colder. I mean, I'm sure it's not like. It's not a baseball game, sir. <laughs> <Just> no, no, <laughs> no. Like, well, well, I'm saying, <laughs> com- compared to us going to Comic Con here, where that's it's true. When it's hot, yeah, uh, the end of May and shit. Like, like I can understand us going to the San Diego Comic Con. It's still it's still a little bit colder because it's San Diego, but yeah, as opposed to here, out there right that's now. It's amazing. It's nice. It's in fucking what January? Yeah. Well, I know they're also doing the fan fest deal with the Phoenix Comic Con, but. I don't, they don't have any heavy hitters for that one. So. Well, the thing about the fan fest is this is going to be its second year, and they're actually basing it off of um, artists, like, you know, illustration and stuff right. like that. Like, that's what they're promoting compared to everything. And they're like, no, we want to show the love to the artists that can't, because there's, like, a five-year waiting list for Phoenix Comic Con. So are they trying to go more of, like, a, like a artist, um, more like a comic book feel, a comic feel, as opposed to just, like, everything else? Yeah. One hundred percent. That's what Fan Fest is made about is for that particular art. But you know, it, for sure, we saw last year's and it wasn't bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? I liked it. There was like ten thousand people that showed up. It was yeah. more intimate, just more laid back, just with the weather itself. Which I think everyone's more. And I think that's what you're gonna get when you have more artists and you know writers and shit because it's it's the, the only people that want to go and see the actual you know comic book artists and comic book writers are the real fans of comic books, not yeah. the you know the mainstream. People who are just going to see the movies and shit, you know, which is a lot cooler. What if this is an introduction to see how well it does in December and maybe move it from fucking June to December? I doubt it. They always yeah. have it in June. Like, it's it's become a staple. Yeah, because how many years is it going? Like, eight, ten years now? Yeah. Or even been, longer? Probably longer than that. I think because that, used to, that started out with Jesse James and all them as a team. Yeah. When it first started. But even Jesse James is promoting New York Comic Con because... Everybody knows Jesse James, hashtag and keywords, everything he loves and he's very passionate about. Comic books is huge. He loves the industry. But the big thing he always talks about is Pepsi and Iron Maiden. Monster. Well, Monster for sure. Monster's always right there. And these are the things is he actually is very proud that he sees that Pepsi is actually sponsoring the New, New York Comic um, Con. <laughs> Comic-Con. And where he's just like, we made it. You know, this is going to be growth for the industry in every con. Let's keep it going. And I was like, that's pretty cool because he's over there. You know, he's not going to back down from something like that. Trisky? Oh, um, man, I'm, you know, still sticking with the whole New York Comic Con deal. I think this is why they released this image was because of the part, you know, the fact that they're out there right now. Uh, but this is the image of Batfleck. Nothing we haven't seen before, but now you have, like, the car in the background, which I don't know. That looks pretty sick. I didn't even notice that was too big of the gains. Dude, it's all He's so suit. fucking beefy, man. It's I all the suit. I said it through every single Stop fucking social hey, media. I doubt it, because they're going to show him with his shirt off. Yeah. And he's they gonna, already have. He's going to look buff as fuck. That's what I'm saying, dude. You know, well, he's hey, actually rolling the tire and shit. Because I can't. It's Ben Affleck. He's telling you, that's not all the fucking suit. You so is that dick? That dick piece? Is that not all the suit? I don't know. I don't that's know like maybe that. like 10%. This motherfucker Ben Affleck. You know he has a petty just water look at, there. Look at the look the neck part of like even just his head. It's just fucking dope, man. You know, I'm just, trying to look at the neck, but <laughs> his hands in the way. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex, I got a quick question. So this spin they're going for. This was a little debate I was having in a group earlier. You know how when you were talking with Greg Capullo at Comic Con this year, and how you're talking about the neck. Yeah. All right. So. You see this neck here, the style and stuff like this. Who do you think's the illustrator? Who who do you think the influence is? Or is it multiple people into this Batman right now? Uh, this is based mostly off of uh, the Dark Knight, Dark Knight Returns. Um, especially with the huge bat, uh, the fat bat logo and those short stubby ears. Though That's based mostly off of off Frank, Dark, Miller. Yeah, Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. Um, there's also a little bit of, of Jim Lee influence, especially like in the abs and in the arms and shit. Um, but yeah, it's mostly Dark Knight Returns. And that's kind of the story is based off of that too. So they just kind of threw all that in. Yeah, because that was one of the, one of the things that everybody was going. It was like, who's who, who's going to be where? And everybody's like, it's a collection of like yeah. multiple artists and stuff. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I dig that. Yeah. And it'll, I think it'll eventually get to the point where they can just, you know, tell all the kinds of different stories that, you know, they've been doing in Batman for years. Because, I mean, they're eventually just going to make so many fucking Batman movies that they're going to be able to tell everything. 
I can't wait. Fuck you, take my money. All right, guys. Uh, it was announced that the Wonder Woman solo film will have three um, distinct periods or three separate time periods. That's kind of interesting because that kind of lends to the theory that they'll make her, you know, like, because in, in the new continuity in comic, she's, you know, a Greek goddess and shit. So they might go back to kind of olden times and then, like, you know, more retro time and then modern day. So that would be kind of interesting to see how they're going to do her origin story. Do, like, the Wolverines running through all these different wars? Yeah. Yeah, because they actually said that she would, one, of the, one of the time periods is going to be set in 1960 in the middle of the First World War. Damn, holy shit. So they're going that far back. And then uh, they, they're also worried. saying that they're going to have three different, uh, they, they may have three different um, fucking suits for her. Um, and then it'll eventually go into the events of the Justice League part. I wonder if they're kind of setting it up to be like, almost like they did with uh, Captain America, to where like they're telling an older story in order to give it more depth and stuff like that to bring it into like a more overall global threat. Yeah. Do you think that she gets piped down before every fight like Ronda Rousey does? Hmm. You, I think she gives the pipe before every fight. Doesn't take it. You don't think Wonder Woman takes it? No. Alex? No. She fucks the others? <laughs> she gives it, especially with that lasso of truth. Do you want to eat me? Yes. <laughs> Did you shake your pants? Yes. <laughs> She's gorgeous, though. Wonder, Wonder Woman is just so herself. saying, you know, um, that the, that the uh, Wonder Woman solo film is going to go into the first part of Justice League. Uh, kind of sticking with the Justice League, they're saying they're saying that the uh, Justice League Dark is reportedly set to film in 2016. Fuck. Are me. they not doing Guillermo del Toro anymore? No, Guillermo del Toro actually is producing. Yeah. Um, he's not directing anymore. That kind of sucks. But I'm so interested to see how they do it. So who's everybody who's going to be in it? Uh, they haven't announced anybody yet, but it's more. This is more of a rumor. Um, so it's reportedly in the works, I guess. But they do have Constantine, they do have Zatanna, Dead Man. Dead Man. Who do you think they're going to have for Constantine? Definitely not Max Ryan or whatever the fuck his name is. That'd be dope. That would be Matt Ryan or I definitely don't think they'll go that way, but... I don't know. It's a hot house. Fucking get Keanu Reeves, 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 Reeves back. He did a dope-ass Constantine. Yeah, he did. I liked him. Bring it back. <laughs> so... Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson weighs in on how Batman could defeat Superman. Oh, God. Here we go. Does how, he have an interview or... or uh, is it just no, it was just, a, it's, it was just an article that he put out. Uh, but basically, he said that um, Batman would have to win the uh, public opinion of the people, I guess. People? The court? Well, if, it, if it's public opinion, then yeah, it would be up to my fault. <laughs> it's late. Uh, it's late. Opinion, it's uh, 7pm. To figure out, you know, who's going to be or working for who and shit like that, so. Well, that's essentially what Lex Luthor tries to do. He always just kind of ends it up by being a psychopath, but yeah. that's usually what he's trying to do is, you know, get people to to go against this alien, you know, who's invading their planet. He also did say that he would pick Iron Man over Batman in a fight. Oh, well, he just lost all credibility, so. <laughs> He really? Said, uh, really? So this, yeah, really? This is what he says because he invented everything that he uses. Batman, however, needs. He's uh, he's got engineers in the back for him working on his exo exoskeleton. Fair enough. Makes sense. I think he's just partial to engineers, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he's so, a lobbyist for the engineers, huh? I don't know how excited you guys are for this Flash movie, but. Um, I want a fucking surfer boy playing Barry Allen. <laughs> I was just going to ask, oh, how do you guys what? feel about Ezra Miller playing uh, The Flash? What's he played before Who besides this? Yeah. Um, he's basically, he's done B-budget movies that like were kind of like indie movies, I guess. Uh, he was in the part of being a wallflower, um, which was pretty big in the indie world. Um, but other than that, I think he was in like some other like high school movies and shit. But they have uh, Seth Graham Smith uh, to direct the film. Why are we wasting our time with this what that? bullshit? Um, he did he did work for like the Lego movies. Um, he also did work for uh, I think he wrote the uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer. Oh okay, that was an good. interesting movie. I liked it. Good spin. So yeah, that's the director for uh, this film that's gonna be. So set to come out. This dude be the Flash, huh? Yeah. I rather see what it manifests. I'm like a waste. They've actually done edits, and I, I don't know. 
Boss Logic has was behind it, but he didn't. I think they did an edit of like his face in like a Flash costume with Flash suit, and it looks pretty sick. Like, it's just silly though. Fucking Grant Gustin is the perfect Flash. Yeah, he is. Like, I'm just about to say that he's he's fucking perfect. Why go with anybody else but him? Well, Don't they did say the they did movie. say that that they're not going to be any any people that are on TV. They're not. Bringing I know that, but yeah, I'm just saying it's it's silly because I mean he does he plays it perfectly. Did he's they say, so fucking forthright. He's so honest. He's just he plays the perfect Flash. He is the Flash. So I wasn't on game when Heath Ledger became the, was announced for the lo- for the Joker. <laughs> Were you, you guys? Shit, the bet on that one. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I just wasn't on. Like, not yeah. that I wasn't on game. I just I wasn't in and like oh you know, um, you know I didn't know his work and all that shit. So I wasn't really into it. But Same here. did you guys? Did you guys expect him to do a good Joker? Yes. A great Joker? Yes. When you were cast? Uh, not particularly, I didn't think, but I wasn't really paying all that much attention. Because you got to mind, at that time, like, when he was casted, he was he was an amazing star. He was he was a rising star. Like, everything he touched was golden. Like, I think, like, the breakthrough that he actually did, and he wasn't even, like, one of the main characters. Yeah, he kind of, what was that, um, 10 Things I Hate About You? Oh, okay. You know... He, he was edgy, he was different, you know, and he had a lot of power hitters. Uh, his uh, My favorite movie from him was fucking A Knight's Tale. Yeah, that's, that's the, the only thing I remember shit. him from, that and the 10 things I hate about you. Yeah, but... The only thing I remember him in before was The, the Patriot. Was The Patriot? Oh, yeah, Patriot yeah, in there too. Yeah, he was that too. Yeah, he was so a bitch. From the Patriot. I like that movie. It was, that's that's good, a movie. That was a sad movie. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, but at that time... The reason, dude, the reason I ask is, do you guys think this could potentially be a sleeper pick? I don't think, like... The Joker kind of lends itself to being a better role. I don't think Barry Allen is particularly that role that's going to make somebody, you know, be a standout. Yeah. Are they going with Barry Allen for the Flash movie? Is that confirmed? Yeah, I think they're, so. they're going to be going with Barry Allen for the okay. Flash movie. See, I can see him more as a Wally West. Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, speaking about the Flash, we did talk about the Flash TV series earlier. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's one thing we didn't bring up. What? Oh his dad. shit! His dad. His oh, dad was right. His dad gets out. That's what made me cry, bro. That's what made me fucking cry. Too. That was fucking nuts, though. When he st- when Wells started saying that, I was like, "Oh shit!" I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that at all. So, yeah. pretty much a lawyer. For those of you who didn't see it, a lawyer uh, comes up to Barry and says, "Hey, uh, Wells left you, you know, uh, Star Labs and blah blah blah. But you're gonna lose it all unless you watch this." What, what the fuck? It was a USB drive. Yeah, one of those things. One of them techno- technology bullshits. <laughs> so he finally does, and it's pretty much you know saying that hey, he's admitting to killing Barry's mom at this yeah. date, showing him how he does it. So the dad finally gets out, right? Big old party. Fucking Barry Allen's happy. His, fat, his dad's like, yeah, I'm leaving because what did he say? He said something. He said he's, better, he's better off. He's without, a better. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, being there. Yeah, and he said that. uh uh, I'm, you're, I'm proud that you're mad or some shit made me cry well basically he was just saying that like if Barry Allen decided to get an apartment with his dad he wouldn't have be able to focus on you know being a superhero and doing what he would need to do you know he's and it's good that he's excited that his dad's out so like that but in order to be a hero he needs to fucking be on his own and do his own thing yes I think he what, they, what he mentioned was that the reason he became the Flash or was even to that uh, point was because the fact that he was doing it for his dad. So right. everything that he was doing was to get his dad out of prison. You're welcome, motherfuckers. <laughs> like, thanks, I guess. Moving forward. Yeah, <laughs> moving forward. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and talk about Batman and Robin. It was a cover that was released with uh, Cassandra Kane. It was actually leaked with uh, Cassandra Kane in the front. And here's the leaked. I actually just started reading this. Because this, the first one just came out this last comic book day Wednesday um, and it was, it's pretty good this Batman and Robin Eternal it doesn't have Batman because in the current Batman continuity Batman's not Batman right now Bruce Wayne isn't Batman it's actually uh, Jim Gordon yeah who's being Batman right now so um, but this has uh, it has all the Robins it has Jason Todd uh, uh, Dick Grayson fucking Do Tim Drake Wayne. Uh, it doesn't have Damon Wayne, which is a knock against it because Damon Wayne's a shit. But it has a lot of other, basically they're secondary characters. Like it brings in Harper Rowe, who's Bluebird, and it's bringing back uh, Cassandra Cain, who was previously uh, an iteration of Batgirl and um, Bluebird, or not Bluebird, uh, Black Bat, stuff like that. So um, it's interesting 
that she's coming back. But yeah, this the series is actually dope and it's really intriguing. They're going with no Barbara. No, she's not in it. But it's really good. It it definitely got my attention. I'm gonna read some more. All right, guys, still sticking with the whole uh, comic book deal. Uh, Deadpool number one preview was released today. I can't believe they're starting them over again at number one, especially with fucking sales as good as his are. Why do they keep starting them over? It's because, basically, the way they feel about it is that it's harder for new readers to start if they're picking up an issue like 34. Because like if you go into a comic book store and it's like Deadpool number 34, you're like, well, shit, I don't have time to read the other 33. Or the money sometimes. So they're um, like, well, we'll start the, not the book off. New people can jump on. The people they already have are going to stick with it, so they're not worried about those people. So it allows them to start to... Allows to have new readers and shit. It's always about some new fucks. The variant covers are pretty sick. Look at that one. <laughs> Sexy. That's pretty dope. It doesn't even look like he has cancer. It looks like leeches. Yeah, right. So how many... Uh, that looks sick as fuck. How he's popping out. Whoa, bro. How now many continuations do they have of this now? How many books does he have out per month right now? I think he only has one. I he he has a couple have like famous? side shit. Yeah, they're, right now... because. They previously had done, um, he had a Secret Wars spinoff when they were doing that, and he has uh, Deadpool versus Thanos, which is pretty funny. I've been reading that one, too. I like this comic, comic cover with the whole Wally Wait. variant. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Fuck you, Wally. All right, there's also, uh, in the Marvel world, uh, the preview to The Vision has been released. That shit's going to get canceled quick. You think so? What the fuck is this? She's weird, huh? Look what the hell does he have? A whole android family? I think that's probably a variant cover. Are they phasing through the door? Yeah. <laughs> I like this cover. That's dope. So, when's this supposed to be released? I think November. I think it is for November. So, release. him and Scarlet Witch don't hatch things together, huh? Nah, just look how fucking shitty the art is, dude. This reminds me of like, of like late 90s, early 2000s. That girl looks like a rip-off of Harley Quinn. True. Are you normal? Ooh. That girl at Circle K looks like a nice rip-off of Harley Quinn. Yeah, she does. Let's not go there. I love you. Uh, are you guys? Have you guys been keeping up with any of the Jessica Jones stuff? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, we. I read Nerd with Balls Facebook constantly. Do you? Well, Unlike well, Alex, that's just true. true. <laughs> or, or me. I got the notifications. Sideswipe. <laughs> Alex, what do you do? I usually swipe down. Scroll down. That's actually very interesting because Madrid is always the one to retweet. The first one to retweet anything that Nerd with Balls puts out. Well, see, this is what happened. So I'm sleeping and I got all these ding, ding, dings on my phone. So I just hit retweet, <laughs> and retweet, retweet, retweet. I don't fucking read that shit. And then I just close my phone back up and go back to sleep. Retweets it. And, and nobody sees it because you don't have any followers. <laughs> <but> exactly. <laughs> nobody likes it. But it's good that you're on, on point. <laughs> Alright, so the reason I asked if you guys were keeping up with the Jessica Jones deal, there was a trailer release, a teaser trailer. Did you say dildo? No, you said keeping up with the Joneses, the Joneses. Nobody parties like the Joneses. There was two (laughs) two teaser trailers. Uh, One just has her, and we'll we'll go ahead and watch it real quick. She kind of looked like she had a pan ass. Ooh, that white girl booty? I hope not. Uh, But this is the one where she's just walking through. It has that that daredevil feel to it. You're a daredevil. That pan ass feel to it. Netflix. Well, they're all they're keeping them all kind of in the same universe. Yeah. Eventually, they're gonna make Defenders, so they all kind of have to have the same feel to them. Dead ass though. That's not a pan ass. That's just a flat boot. No, it's baby it's pan. Not flat, dude. That's the same flat. It's, we've already. It's it's a typical. That still has the Avengers tower in the back. We've yeah. seen this one. No, no, this is the this one. Is she, the other one, she was coming this way. This oh, one, walking oh, into completely the city, different. So. Then. Yeah, it's a little bit of booty. <laughs> she has baby booty. She has baby dashing. But it, it is sort of on the pan a little yeah, bit. That's what I'm saying. I'm but I still this. eat it. You know, I still get a spoon. Ooh. Oh, we can jump. Elias investigators. Oh, same thing with like Gabbard though. She just does not seem that intimidating when you look at her. How the fuck is she jump? How? I don't remember Jessica Jones having powers. Not jump. Well, she was like super strong sometimes, but so am I. But I can't jump. So I think this might be. This might show a little bit of a more intimidating feel to her, but... Uh, what, you're a menstrual cycle? <laughs> real. How you doing? Fuck you! So they released. They also released this trailer this week where... They're good for our feminists. <laughs> it has her... Hey, female lives matter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Run it back! It has her um, 
kind of teasing. Uh, Fuck this shit. Play this bitch. The purple man. I'm about to play this bitch. So if I come across, I'm going to play it like a fiddle. Oh, fucking eat her asshole. Yeah, right. We're going to cook some maize on that pan ass. Fuck, don't talk about my wife that way. I'm going to look at you different. Sorry, I was going to poke her once. No, you're not. Mm. Fucking kill you. Give her a baby. I got pictures. Shit, this is I'm us so talking about he's her. playing fucking Kilgrave. Who is it? He's a good actor. David Tennant? He's the shit. Oh, she played Seth, though. It's kind of weird what they're doing with the eyes. What are they doing with their eyes? Yeah. Those aren't her real eyes. Pretty sure those are her real eyes. No, they're not. Whose eyes are <laughs> Yours? <laughs> no, but they look like they're fucking nice. animated. Yeah, right. That is pretty cool. Did I say fart? <laughs> yes. I literally said fart. So, the purple man. The yeah, purple man is Kilgrave. He's, uh... He's kind of a businessman mobster, but he also, um, he's able to, like, control people's minds, sort of, but it's not, like, telepathy. Is it a more power persuasion? Yeah, it's almost more like, um, poison ivy, sort of, because it's, like, I think it's, like, a pheromone or something like that, but yeah. he's able to, like, you know, control people's minds and shit when he's, when he's around them and make him kind of do shit. Yeah, because he has a, he has a certain range, doesn't he? Like, wasn't it, like, so, yeah. a mile range or something? So he, shit? he was originally, uh, Daredevil's. Villain, right? I don't know. I know he spent a lot of time with Jessica Jones and um, Luke Cage. Luke Cage, yeah. Well, that's what I was was looking into where he, apparently he was like Daredevil's like villain, was supposed to be Daredevil's villain and ended up being Luke Cage's and Jessica Jones' like main villain. Yeah, sometimes they do that. So, like that's what actually put him on game or put him on... Because that's like Kingpin. Like Kingpin started out as Spider-Man's villain, right? I think King, yeah, I think it was. Is either yeah, yeah, Kingpin was Spider Man? It was. Yeah, it was because because he was he was the head mob boss with Hammerhead and uh, yeah. uh, Felicia's dad and all that shit. Yeah, and then he Bob Felicia. All right, guys, something that I was really excited for uh, today, Ant Man, uh, the sequel for Ant Man was uh, officially announced by Marvel Studios, and um, in the title, the title, of the name is uh, the title of the movie is going to be Ant Man and the Wasp. Think it would a date yet? Uh, yeah, they came out July 6, 2018. So essentially what this did is, with the announcement of this movie, it actually pushed up uh, Black Panther to February 20-something of 2018. Uh, so it's, some people on Twitter were saying it's ironic because they put Black Panther in Black History Month. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, and then they, what they did is they pushed back Captain Marvel to uh, uh, 2019. So... Wait, wait. Go down right quick. It's right here. So Black Panther is February 16, 2018, and then Captain Marvel, uh, March 8, 2019. So it pushed back Captain Marvel. Yo, shit, they're doing Captain Marvel? I just got the... Yeah. What the fuck? You're so late. You realize you're on this podcast. Yeah, right? I do. So I, you think they're going to tie in like a screen, a scroll war? No, they're doing um, Carol Danvers. Oh. Captain Marvel. Oh, that's okay. what I mean. oh. we're talking about. Because there's Marvel in the Marvel. That's why I was thinking about Marvel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about the damn thing. So one. this movie alone is probably gonna make about like five or M N one is gonna make about five hundred million or more. Well, it's scheduled. Oh, uh, it's uh, well, no, estimated to make more than uh, I think it was Captain America or Thor. I know for a fact it was Captain America. Well, it already passed Captain yeah. America, the first Avenger. It's good. It's getting ready to pass Thor. Um, Thor two, right? I think it was the first Dark one. Oh, yeah. the because there, it hasn't even. Because it's at four oh, uh, what's it called? 409.8 million, yeah. and it hasn't even opened up in China. Yeah, when it once it hit, once it opens up in China is when it's when it's uh, estimated to pass Thor, and I think Thor made like four forty four. I God damn. I can see it. Did it say who's even playing the Wasp yet? Or well, it's what's fucking name? shit. I didn't watch fucking Ant Man the first one. Why don't you get a life and fucking watch movies? Because then you guys want to watch him so with me. He, Fuck you, go watch him by yourself. Nah, bro, I'm lonely. Shit. He's a modern day surge. Like, we swap <laughs> spots. <laughs> bro, see the way my games work. <laughs> that you suck? Yeah, pretty much. Fuck you, guys. You haven't watched Guardians of the Galaxy, bro. Bro, I'm not going to waste my time on fucking Star Trek. Speaking Star of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> that was China? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, What's his name? The James Gunn 
um, got the okay from Marvel uh, Marvel legal department to use the word sneepers, um, sneepers, which is the name of those the, the green characters or whatever, um, because it, it was uh, close to the Icelandic word meaning clitoris. So they didn't want they didn't want him to use the word sneepers because they thought that it would. I guess they just said fuck Iceland. We're gonna do it. Pretty anyway. much, Marvel said fuck Iceland and right. gave him the okay. They started using that in the in the Guardians of the Galaxy sequel movie. Icelandic lives matter. Bro. Why? No, they don't. Apparently, because <laughs> <laughs> America. That's why. It makes money. It makes sense. And it's still sticking with the whole Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, animated series starts uh, Saturday which is, uh, it's going to air Saturdays on Disney 8 XD um, at 9.30pm Eastern Time um, there's this little behind the clip scene if you guys want to watch it it's up to you guys but they pretty much just go into like just what goes on into creating the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon fuck your cartoon series, for real. I'm going to watch it though they're doing good with fucking Drake Bell of Spider-Man and then they had the Avenger one and I don't know what the fuck happened to them for the XD slots uh, apparently, Bradley Cooper was not going to voice. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I should say not. But apparently, uh, Danny DeVito was uh, uh, slated in for the Rocket Raccoon, and at the end, they kind of just... That would have been some good shit. Yeah, yeah I could yeah, say yeah. it. Big time. Danny DeVito's fucking classic. He's the man. The, re- the, the reason James Gunn said no is because uh, the character of, of Rocket Raccoon is a lot younger than what his voice sounded like. So when they when they had him fit for the oh yeah, besides the, the fact that he's a fucking raccoon, right? But yeah, um, shit, his that age makes is sense. wrong. But yeah, so it just it, from when they had him fit for the for the voice part, of voiceover, of it, it just didn't work out. Apparently, like it yeah, just didn't I, go I'm wrong. gonna go see that. So, um, could Miles Morales potentially be in the new Marvel uh, Spider Man's reboot? That'd be dope. It better be fucking Charles Gambino. Fuck yeah. That motherfucker. Did you? Yeah, it was actually you who put me on game about his cover for Tamiya's, uh, what's no. his name? No singing. No, I'm asking what the name of the song is. Into You? So Into You. There you go. Dude, I'm gonna Alex, we banned him. I don't give a fuck what you say. He's not allowed to sing on the podcast. But Lucas raised that. No, Alex years. did. Then Lucas. Lucas isn't here and Alex, you're outvoted. I did what? You allowed him to sing on the podcast. I don't think I did. Yes, you yes, did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I really don't think I did. Thank you. You have voided. Shut it. Probably have you have voided? Somewhere. Voided. Well, I already sang, so I'm good. So fuck you. Fuck your life. Fuck your hair. Fuck your glasses. Would you guys be for, be up for uh, Miles Morales into the uh, reboot of Spider-Man? Yes. Fuck it. Yeah. Only because I, I desperately don't want to see fucking Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Parker is not getting good when it comes to movies. Like, it just, yeah, it's just, it's fucking beat to death. I'll take anybody at this I'll point. I'll take fucking Miguel O'Hara, 2099. They can put fucking Doc Ock inside of Peter Parker's <laughs> body and I'll take it. So they asked John Watts, um, which is going to be, uh, I think he's writing the, the film. Um, they asked him if uh, how, they, how they would be able to tie him in, and apparently he said, you know, I can't go into it, but if we were to tie in a character like him, he'd pretty much be like in the background with no superpowers yet, and then eventually be something. I don't think they will, though, because fucking so many people, like, it's not like Green Lantern or something that have had, like, you know, multiple iterations and everybody kind of knows different, you know. A lot of people know Jon Stewart as Green Lantern. A lot of people know Hal Jordan as Green Lantern. Like, fucking for pretty much every audience member, Peter Parker is Spider-Man. You know what I mean? Makes sense. So I think it would be kind of shooting themselves in the foot to try and make Miles Morales. Unless they're going to kill Peter Parker in the movie and Miles Morales steps up. There wouldn't be so much fucking hype behind Tom Holland being Peter Parker, though, mm-hmm. or being cast as Peter Parker, if they were going to kill him off. Right? Yeah, it's kill, kill him. Kill it. Kill it. Ah, fucking ass. Well, why couldn't you have two? Why couldn't you have fucking the Sony... <coughs> sorry, the Sony Spider-Man be fucking Peter Parker and then get him in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Miles Morales. Right. And that way you have two distinct fucking, you know, entities. Because Sony's involved. Would have to be involved with that. Point. I guess. But you could even call it, like, fucking different universes you know what I mean it could be like fucking the what is it the, the ultimate universe yeah, Earth yeah. Two. fucking Avengers can be considered the ultimate universe or whatever and then that could eventually lead into how they merged fucking their X-Men and, and other shit like I don't, know. I don't know why you couldn't do that and it makes so much sense. sense yeah if, if they ever do it right yeah right. If they ever do it right I think we need to do the next Fantastic Four the whole production I don't have anything to say about Fantastic Four <laughs> Like, as in us? 
make the movie? Yeah, let's do it. I don't know anything about Fantastic Four 1 to begin with. But we got two assholes who hate everything that know a lot about it. All I know is that the thing has a wiener. And it's a rock. A rock wiener. A rock okay, wiener. we're done. I was trying to blow us up, but never mind. He's never soft. <laughs> <laughs> Always hard. Sounds like me. All right, guys. Uh, Rick Moranis was uh, asked to cameo in a Ghostbusters, and um, he didn't want to do it because it didn't appeal to him. I guess. No, well, that's flash. not that's not what happened. What happened? We'll all right. What happened was you were there, bro. Lazy. Yeah, dude. He <laughs> called me. He's like, Jesse, this is what happened. You didn't get to Canada. I was like, fuck you, bro. Come over to Arizona. He's like, fuck you. I'm gonna tell you over the phone. He's just like, who is this? He's like, feed me. <laughs> He's like, honey, I shrugged your dick. <laughs> <laughs> You're the reason. <laughs> No, so everybody knows this legend of comedy walked away when his wife passed away with cancer so he can raise the kids. Right. Correct. So that was like, I don't know, like 20 years ago. 97. Okay. Oh, <laughs> shit. You guys know way too fucking much you about Rick Moranis. Hold on. So this guy, he does want to come back to movies, but he just figured what they did in the past. No, no, no. He said he wants to come back into the acting world. He didn't say specifically movies. Oh, yeah, but you got to realize he will do... Movies, yeah, theater, all that. Oh, that's the thing is, he's older. Kids are moved. They're grown. He's great. The only thing is, he didn't see the justice of doing the Ghostbusters. But guess what? I don't give a fuck what this guy says because the next Ghostbusters, he's gonna be on it. I don't give a shit. Watch, because it's gonna make a. We, I know I'm, I'm gonna fucking hate myself, but Ghostbusters is gonna fucking be a blockbuster. Doubt it. Why are you hate yourself with Ghostbusters a blockbuster, bro? Jones, I hate her. Who gives a shit? Just let it go, bro. Jones who? The black girl? That is fucking racist, but yes. Well, Jones lies matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that was his thing, man. I thought he was a good actor. Oh, yeah. I just really wish, uh, you know, it was hard, but I understand his logic of everything he did and why he, he did what he did. That's fucking awesome. Like, did you say he was 62? Yeah, Holy he's 62 fuck. years old now. Jeez, bro, retire already. Dude, fucking like Arnold Schwarzenegger and fucking Sylvester Stallone, like yeah. 75. They got hang still. Yeah, they do. Like this guy's got brains. Gains brains. Gains brains. <laughs> That's what my life's all about these days. Yeah. And you don't have me, either. And not watching movies. Nah, bro, you haven't had your DVDs for two weeks. You ain't got no type of Bro, don't be telling people my freaking hit. My, my, my secret shit, bro, for all of us. Nobody said what it was. Dude, people have been watching porn on DVDs forever. <laughs> that ain't no fucking secret. Well, bro, we're taking old school VHS. Speaking oh, of old school. Oh, old school? We're kicking it old school, sort of. Going back to the Power Rangers world. Um... The Pink Ranger has been cast, and that's going to be Naomi Scott. So, did you see that shit that Chase put on, on the Nerva Balls group? Nope. Nah. Yeah, he's all, what do you spell her name? Backwards, it's I moon. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> fucking Chase. She's fucking cute. She's 22 years old. She's already on the Martian movie that came out. She's down to throw some fucking dick at her mouth. I'm down with this bitch. Let's see her. She does have some nice hair. She's really nice. She's got a nice facial structure. She got a whole thing. I don't know about all that. She just looks like she's nice enough to throw a few rounds with. I, yeah. Yeah, I call her a skirt. Why not? The Damn. Whole will be, you go further than a skirt, bro. Come on. I give her princess. Yeah. All right, I give her princess. Yeah, I date her. Alex, what do you I got? She's all right. She, she got some bags under her eyes on. So she's do we. Vitamin D. Oh, oh, we'll give her the vitamin D, bro. She's, she's a working woman, sir. So would you fuck her with the outfit on or off? Both. I don't Love think that them. I don't think the outfit has easy access in the back. Yeah, bro, all you gotta do is just slit it use your knife and slit it. Slit right her. <laughs> you wanna slit <laughs> What the fuck? Well it's already all right there. Fuck, their Power Ranger suits are not that good if I could just cut them open. <laughs> Take um, that sword on. I don't know if you guys follow JDF. Yeah. I don't know who JBL is. Jason gave me Frank. Shit, propulsion uh, laboratory. Jesus. No, I was gonna say the wrestler. <laughs> All right, what did Jason David Frank say? Because he had a few uh, things this week again. He just posted, like, after she was announced, um, he posted it and he said, you know, congrats or whatever, but is the Green Ranger going to be cast? That's um, what he asked? Yeah, J- oh J- JDF, JDF or the Green Ranger or some shit. That's because he wants to have a love uh, scene with her. No, Jesus, her. Jesus doesn't want that. Jesus, take the wheel. No, I think the big <laughs> thing with that is, what the fuck has he done that's relevant besides, you know, his little blog TV? the sun. Oh fuck! <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, no, speaking of that too. So once once that was uh, released, they also put up a badness. Somebody did like a little picture of uh, the White Ranger going up against uh, Wolverine. So then he tagged Bat and Son. So now I'm guessing so he wants more production time or more time on the camera. What are the odds that they're gonna bring him back as a mentor? Something. 
in the movie. You That's think it's gonna happen? I, I personally think it would be bad, and I don't want to see it. I don't think it. I don't think it's gonna happen. Alex. Well, he's what? He's probably fucking 62 years old, too, right? <laughs> exactly. They're going to have a fucking five young teenagers and fucking their grandfather fighting. Mr. Miyagi did it to Daniel, son. <laughs> and he was yeah. on Nile Thunder, like, in 011 or whatever that was. Wasn't he, like, a Zordon for a time or something like that? Or something oh, like Zordon? So. I thought he was a mentor for Dino Thunder, but then he didn't become the Black Ranger. You know, the, the big thing about him is he's the shittiest actor ever. Uh, he was shittier than the guy who played Jason? What's Jason? The original Jason? Okay, they're 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 head to head. The original Rangers? Jason was was the mother. No, from from the Power Rangers. Oh, I think you're talking about Jason Voorhees. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, are you saying he's worse than Michael Sierra? Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, Michael Sierra's the man. All right, guys. Uh, also, John Voight and uh, Ron Perlman have been cast for uh, the Harry Potter spinoff, Fantastic Beasts, and Where to Find Them. Uh, John Voight hasn't. Uh, there's no information on his character yet, but. Uh, Ron Perlman is going to be playing a goblin. Ron Perlman? He's like seven feet tall. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> CGI, bro. They have a lot of advances in the medical field. They can make this happen. They I guess if they made the hobbits look really short, it could work on him. What are they going to make short on him, his wiener? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Little ass wiener. So why are they, what is this supposed to be like a prequel or just another side of the whole Harry Potter world was supposed to be? Well, it's a, it's a book that exists at Hogwarts that was written by this guy who went out searching for Fantastic Beasts and shit. But it, I guess they're going to go back into the fucking, you know, how he made the book and how he fucking searched for all these crazy shit. But, like, of all the fucking stories to tell in Harry Potter, like, this is the, mo- the least fucking interesting one. Like, so, you could literally go into the future where fucking they're all grown, which would be interesting, or you could go to, like, when they were fucking, when Voldemort first came about, and they were first fighting him, like, that would be interesting as fuck. Shit, I would watch a whole fucking Dumbledore movie before I'd watch this fucking shit. But see, that's what I would feel like. They would continue on, like, into the future when they're all getting piped down and having kids and shit. Nah. I don't think I'd mind it. I think I'm gonna be alright with the film just because that dude, um, Eddie Redmayne, is gonna be playing the main character with Newt's commander or whatever. Man. Yeah, he's a really good actor, so I think he's I think he's gonna be able to uh, take this film. I just don't think it's gonna have a lot of the the Harry Potter goodness that made the other movies really good. So. Think it's gonna be like the Hobbit? Like, uh, yeah, even less so because like the Hobbit at least kind of stays true to what you know Lord of the Rings was, but this is like going in a completely different direction. You know, you're still in the same world, but you're not telling the same story. You're not at Hogwarts. I don't know. It'll be it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Ron Perlman and Co are fucking with my fucking mind, with my heart. They're messing with me, dude. Hellboy three, just make it happen. That's what I think we all want, man. People don't forget. <laughs> as, we, as we sit here with fucking Pixar faces on. <laughs> Fuck you, Pixar. Um, yeah, no. I mean, it's like I said. I, I think I'm gonna. I'll be ready for the film once it comes out. I'm still gonna watch. It's just like. You know, going over to watch the new Ghostbusters movie, I'm going to watch it. Even, well, even though I don't like it, so. I probably won't. I don't really care for Harry Potter. No, I don't. I never read the books or watch the movies. Shut your filthy mouths. Yo, Harry boy. Potter's fucking awesome. Fuck he is. All right, guys. Uh, last story or last article that we have to talk about um, that was released uh, this week was uh, straight out of Compton director F. Gary Gary is going to uh, be directing the Fast and Furious 8 film. F. Gary out of Furious. Gray. So F. F. Gary Gray, sorry, not Gary Gray. Fast 8 is what he's directing. You know, this is the thing I think about it, is... <laughs> I'd give you a Fast 8. <laughs> You're, fucking Shit, look, you You're like a fucking eight. Fast no, no. 4. <laughs> I give you like a Fast 8 with a penguin like 6, 7 times. You, you know, okay. <laughs> Gary Gary is probably like one of the most... Gray. Gary Gray. Whatever. Gary Gary is what I'm going to call him. <laughs> Gary Gary. He, he sucks. Like, everything he's done is shit. There's only one thing I'll give him credit for. Law-abiding citizens. Everything else fucking stupid. He, he's not good. I, everybody was blown away by this NWA movie that came out straight out of Compton. And it was like, his scenes were so fucking basic. Kevin Smith would have been a better action fucking film like that this guy tries to do at times. Like, even with the straight out of Compton. And mind you, I like Kevin Smith's action shots. Yeah. But this franchise is that, like, I think it's just... 
I don't know, man. I, I, I want to see it because you know what? I get entertained as fuck. Everybody knows I like these series, but this shit kind of right here, I'm just like, dude, there's a million different fucking directors that would have done this fucking perfect. Why him? I think maybe because the hype of he has for Strata Compton. Absolutely. This is kind of like putting a mixtape album or just an album together. You know, let's get let's get Beyonce, let's get Justin Timberlake, let's get Eminem, let's get Rihanna. It's gonna make a hit. Well, fucking yeah. You know, I really don't mind him being the director, and I think it goes beyond just him being the director. I'm just fucking tired of Vin Diesel fucking movies, goddamn movies, and the Last Witch Hunter, and the fucking him even being cast as Groot. Like Groot don't say shit, but just him the the fact that he's behind it. It's so fucking annoying. I'm over this motherfucker. No, man. I love Vin Diesel. I fucking hate him. No, oh, man. Like, yeah, I could leave him too. No, like, what, what I like about Vin is <clears throat> this motherfucker was one of those guys who created and paved his way. You know I mean? Nobody gave Vin shit. Him, his buddies, they made strays. You know, like Mike Epps was in it and stuff like that. They made like $150,000 collectively together said, let's do a project. He wrote, directed, starred in it, and it was just a love story with some hood motherfuckers from uh, New York. But everything he's done, it was just kind of like, oh, he's a muscle head, he's this, he's that. You know, we see Fast and the Furious, and it's like, oh, you see this big, bad motherfucker who protects his family. You see him in his everyday life, he's like the biggest fancy in the world. But every fucking scene you see him in the real life is like crying. You know what I mean? Singing, dancing. It's weird. But, you know, even like you could fucking YouTube Vin Diesel fucking breakdancing. You know, back when he was a kid, it was the worst thing to ever happen. I just don't want YouTube him, period. Anything him. I, I don't mind him. I think he's, I think he's great. He's always been above his time. He always knows what he's doing. He's a great businessman. His strategies and all that. Like, Last Witch Hunter, he does always play in the realms of, like, sci-fi. You know, what was that one where, um... It was like a Guardian. Like, like he was like a Guardian. Like, Babylon AD. Yeah. Like, that movie could have been good. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, I think if that movie had a better writer, because the, the directing and the, the action was on point, but Fuck the yeah. writing was horrible. I think the only thing I like him in was the Chronicles of Riddick, like the, those Riddick movies. I think it's the only thing I like him in. And like, even those, yeah, I like, remember that. Even those, it's just still like, like you said, it was a great concept. That shit was horrible. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a great it concept, but it's just like, fuck, dude. Like, hey, these movies can be better, and I don't know if it's you or what, but just fucking, they can be. I better. don't think these movies could be better. I you don't. Just said it. No. The oh, correct. no, I'm talking about. The, the fast. I'm just talking about the movie that he's in in general. No, I think I think I think he holds up. I think he's really, like you know, you, you said you didn't like the last Riddick. No. Like what I liked about that is it was literally like a crowdfund project. It was very indie, and he was just like, okay, well, this is how we're gonna do it. Nobody wants to give us the funny. We'll build it ourselves again. Yeah, and they, it still sucked. No, I didn't that save it from sucking. The visual effects were good. <laughs> I didn't think it sucked. Dude, I, the movie I thought it was, was boring as fuck. I liked it. Yeah, I wish for my time watching do it. He didn't do anything. He literally did nothing for the first 45 minutes. He fucking played with the dog. Oh, oh that's awesome. Yeah. I'll go watch fucking Lassie if I want to watch that. No, you want it. Guys. Dude, he didn't do jack shit. Yeah, he fucking... Even after fucking the fucking bounty hunters things. get there, he's not doing jack shit. He gets chained up. <laughs> yeah, bro, he's taking mirrors from that one chick while she was getting ready. Ooh. Yeah, I turned the shit off. It was boring as fuck. Boring AF. Oh, man. I, I don't know. I give it up to him. Everybody knows I love fucking Van Diesel. I, I got a man crush. Judge me. Of all guys, him? Name somebody a powerhouse like him. Rock. Fair enough. Anything. Give me another one. But Rock doesn't... Rock's barely bringing his production I'm saying company. like the same type of actor. No, 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 no. no. I'm talking about everything. Because Rock's just barely bringing his production. Every, like Seven Buck or whatever it's called. Right. You know, this guy had Trigon and they were the ones that revamped, sold, created... The Hitman game, um, which called series, right? But I'm not talking about Vin Diesel as a businessman. I no, I just told him you on all that. No, I, that's what I said. I, after everything, nobody's a powerhouse like him in that world. Right. When it comes to that, but I'm just saying, as an actor, I think I don't it's cool. Like him. I don't think I would. I, what was that? A man apart. Oh, with that dude, uh, that short, short black guy. Yeah, it's Ty's date or some shit like yeah. that. Tay Diggs, is that him? No, there you go. Tay Diggs is is a different guy, but. That was a great movie. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, when he was looking for his fucking wife, like, screaming for her, I was like, teary-eyed to the fucking... Damn it. Everything <laughs> tears you up. You nah. can't use that. You no, can't. I can't. He's a bitch boy. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. That was a fucking dope scene. He really conveyed a lot of shit where it's like, well, you can really get down with that. You cry in every scene. No way. Like, you don't count. That doesn't count. Why not? Because you cry in every scene. 
every he scene, gets emotional. every movie, no, every movie. Give me, give me ten of them. Fuck. Toy Story 1, 2. Toy Story 1, 2, 3. The Dinosaur 1. Dinosaur 1. You guys are crying with me on all these motherfuckers. Uh, Don't make me be an about you? This isn't about you. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'm going to call you Frank Lozano. Oh, uh, you, uh, you, you can call me Frank Lozano. <laughs> for it. Thanks for the comment. Yeah, beautiful wife. <laughs> well, yeah, no. I'm going to show you something. <laughs> <laughs> you set yourself up for that one. Fuck you guys. Oh, Straight no, out of Compton. Man. You cry because it sucked. <laughs> Just wanted to get out of there. I wanted to run South out. Ball. I paid fourteen dollars for this. You cried too. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, what is it? Why does this keep coming back to me? We're talking about you. You're using these emotional scenes, emotional movies that make you fucking cry. No, I'm just a man who's more masculine and say, you know what? I did get an emotional impulse. I had a little tears when everybody else did too. I'm just the one who talks about. It. I'm not saying I don't. I'm saying that you use shitty movies when they make you emotional. That they fucking, you are that fucking the you best movie. Girl. And if you. I remember Man Apart, and he cried at that movie. You're no, I said little girl. That was dope. Yeah, you're telling me that wasn't a good scene. It was. It was an alright scene. I'm just saying it wasn't that emotional. Because you but never had saying, your wife die, bro. But but you're you're you. You're saying that <laughs> you those, died twice this week. No, you, that's your wife. <laughs> yes, you are. You're saying that because those scenes it makes these movies good. No, his acting is what you couldn't put that scene in there without the right acting. To get that emotion, I think another yeah. actor would have been a lot more, and I probably would have cried if it was a different actor. Give me another actor who would have been good. The Rock, you, The Rock as him from A Man Apart. The Rock could be in every movie that Vin Diesel has ever been in and do it a million times better. I'm not gonna lie. There's things like let's say Pacifier, the movie with the with Vin Diesel yeah, yeah. compared Pacific to Man. Tooth Fairy. You can't compare it. The Rock will kill him. Like, because Tooth Fairy was the shit compared so you're to that. Green? No, no, I'm just saying, when it comes to an actor like The Rock, he brings a little bit more to the table. Yes, I will say that. But I don't think The Rock could be uh, Dominic But Toronto. what I'm saying is that, yeah, he can. No. Fucking, um, what was that one movie where fucking uh, Walking Tall? He pretty much plays the exact same character. True. Sure. Yeah. Get more. Get, 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 give me more details. He's a now. fucking a guy who's defending his fucking family... He comes back into town. He's got to fucking take down the crime boss. Like, fucking... It's essentially the same character. Giant Knoxville. And he plays it better. <laughs> and, yeah, fucking Giant Knoxville's in it. Who is a better Paul Walker. Fuck! <laughs> 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 he said it. He <laughs> fucking said it. Hey, that's, that's a that's title. title. That's the name of the title. Giant Knoxville's a better Paul Walker. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. That that hurt. Hurt. I'm done. I'm, I'm spent. <laughs> Alex, don't, don't cry. Let's get up. Don't <laughs> cry. Let's do this podcast first. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, you be the judge of this. Comment. Let us know what's up. What you think of uh, Vin Diesel and what do you think of The Rock? Who would win? Who gets who's better? Blah, blah, blah. But Don't, uh, don't forget uh, who's better, Knoxville or Paul Walker. <laughs> True. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jesse. I'm signing out. Alex. Peace. <laughs> Madrid, see you guys next week. Or hear you guys next week. Sergio, peace and love. See you guys next week. And you're not going to hear them. They're going to be hearing you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, man, don't correct me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs>